Hello, Chess Lovers. I have a very beautiful game for you played at Tradewise Gibraltar 2018. With the white pieces playing Indian chess grandmaster Chanda Sandipan and his opponent is legendary Vasily Ivanchuk. Sandipan started with d4 and knight f6 by Ivanchuk c4 e6, knight c3 bishop b4, Ivanchuk goes for Nimzo Indian defense e3, Sandipan is choosing the Rubinstein system. Now black has several options, c5, castling king side or b6, but we see c5. Knight e2, c takes d4, e takes d4, d5. These are variations seen many times, c5, knight e4, bishop d2, black captures on d2 and then a5, a3, forcing black to capture on c3, knight takes c3 and a4. And here comes an interesting decision by Sandipan, knight takes a4. He's giving up two pieces in return getting a rook and a pawn, bishop d7, bishop takes a4, bishop takes a4, queen b4, both attacking the pawn and the bishop and queen d7, protecting both pieces. White castles, king side and queen b5. Well, not the most precise move, it was better to castle king side. If b3, then bishop b5. The rook is under attack. If rook e1, then bishop a6. The bishop on this f1 a6 diagonal looks very active. If a4, then knight c6, developing the pieces. But instead, after castling king side, we see queen b5, which allows white to equalize the game. Here comes b3. We see the exchange of queens and bishop b5. Well, Capturing on b3 can be very dangerous because white can first play b5 and then penetrate with the rook the 7 rank. That's why after a takes b4 we see bishop b5. Now the rook on f1 is under attack, but in this position Chanda Sandipan made a shocking decision. You can pause the video and try to find his next move. Ready? He played rook a7, just a mind-blowing move, sacrificing the rook on f1. Bishop takes f1, and instead of capturing on f1, white is first winning the pawn on b7, threatening rook takes b8. Knight c6 and only now king takes f1. Now, this is a critical position, and it was in here that... Vasily Ivanchuk made a mistake. He cancelled king's side, but actually this is losing. Now, can you find the best move for black? Actually, there is only one move which allows black to equalize the game. And that move is a study looking like move rook f8. Black is not castling, but instead is placing the rook on f8 square, protecting the f7 pawn, and now the king is free to come and support the knight. Now if b5, then knight takes d4, if b6, then king d8. If rook a7, then knight c6, and this is going to be an equal battle. But instead, after... King takes f1, we see castling king side. And there it goes. Sandy pawn is pushing the b pawn. These two passed pawns supported by their friends are just monsters. Knight a5, rook c7, and believe it or not, but in this position, Ivanchuk resigned. Well, if knight takes b3, then b6. If knight a5, then c6. Here is one of the possible lines, if g6 then b7, king g7, rook c8, black can capture on c6, rook takes c6, rook b8, rook c7, and this is going to be a winning endgame for white. The king can always come and support his pawn, this is going to be an easy win. That's why probably seeing all this, Ivanchuk decided to resign after rook c7. What a game! If you enjoyed this beautiful game, don't forget to give the thumbs up or subscribe to my channel, more games are coming. Good luck!